Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson. I'm Gossie. And I'm um, Sonate P. And today we are reviewing the Tex-Mex stack from McDonald's. This is uh, part of their new, relatively relaunched, Great Taste of America range. What have we got in here? Nachos, Nuts. beef, pepper jack cheese, spicy smoky sauce, and a hot spicy bun. So most of the elements are hot. Previews later. Oh, it doesn't mention the tomato on there actually. I've already had the sauce on my fingers and it is actually quite hot. Nah, not won't be hot. But I mean, oh, oh yeah, you guys are uh, absolute pussies when it comes to heat. Because um, <laughs> yeah, you had a tiny bite of the pig of doom. Uh, you licked it, and I ate an entire one because yeah. I'm an absolute lad. I licked it and had two bites out of it actually. So I just licked it. Oh, but a crunch. It was, it was rank as well. Yeah. To be fair, it was so hot. Bit of crunch. Bit of crunch. Oh, that is hot. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Mm. Oh wow. <coughs> oh, it's a, oh, people who like hot food are going to love this one. Oh, I oh. really like it. That sauce is so unique. Is it? Is yeah. It very, very unique. Write in the comments if you hate that. That is not like a barbecue sauce. That is literally like a hot, smoky sauce. I wouldn't say it's a traditional barbecue sauce. It's not all that sweet. It's got rich, smoky Texan flavour. That's really impressive. It is tingling on the old lips. Yeah. I mean, guys, see you later. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Take it easy. Take care. See you later. Yeah, professional. Could you? That's definitely getting cut out. What did you say? I said, well, that's definitely getting cut out. No, it's not. Why do you have to say things like that? Because I like to. Subscribe to Burger Lab. Cut, cut him out, maybe. You. Oh, Ooh. maybe that's what I'm talking about, yeah? Cut, crop him out. No. Crop in one. Crop in Burger Lab. Right. No, but do you know what? Crop in Burger In fact, Part of this video, can we crop out Nathan and put in just a picture of Burger Lab? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna make MJ do it. Mm. Oh. Here we go. Oh, he's. I. Oh God. I thought that was for dramatic effect. He's walking into the road. Nate, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, he's alive and well. Nate, confirm you're you're alive. Maybe you maybe you can move up a bit now, and I can actually get into the, into the shop. This is awful. This is delicious. Um, I, I, what I do like about it a lot is that it's actually the easiest to eat out of the three new ones. Mm -hmm. The least messy. Mm. Can it have more cheese? Well, oh, actually, has it got two slices? Oh, it's got two slices. I think it has, actually. The last bit I had where there was a little less sauce, the cheese comes through quite, quite well. Mm. Um, the hot sauce, yeah, I mean, it's not a burger. It's not a burger I would necessarily order because I don't really like heating my burger. That said, it's not too hot. Um, it's got a nice sort of level of sweetness and heat at the same time. Mm. It is nice to have those nachos in there for texture. It's different to have something so uh, crunchy in there. A bit crunch. Um, yeah, quite nice. Quite nice. Would would eat again, would not buy again. Yeah, I think I agree. I'm not sure I'd order this again. But at the same time, it is different. It is quite unique. The sauce, obviously, very strong, very powerful. Mm. So strong. Very smoky. Definitely makes you wonder about the extra hot buffalo that's coming. Yeah. It's a lovely burger. Um, do, you know what I, do you know what I wish? I wish the, um, the tortilla oh. chips were a bit more, that were a bit thicker, maybe a bit crispier. Mm. So there was a real crunch to them when you mm. like. I, I, I don't necessarily know they're there. That would be my one criticism. Of I think them. I think in the middle they go a little bit soft because obviously with all the sauce and everything it's sort of... Whereas well, on, the, on the outside it's still a bit uh, crispy and crunchy because obviously it's a little less uh, moisture around there I guess. The That's what I mean, if they use thicker ones that mm. probably wouldn't happen. I get you brother. Um, I think that uh, could have done with bacon. No reason to admit it in my opinion. Um, mm. However, what I really like about this one... Let's rewind. A week ago I did a... Um, well, a week ago as of filming, I did a news video where I said McDonald's are releasing some new burgers. I criticised them slightly, I said that their last few years worth of offerings of the Great Taste of America have been slightly unimaginative. So they've, they've re redesigned them, they've added an extra patty, which I think was was needed and massively appreciate. In this one, well, actually all of them <coughs> have different buns. Mm -hmm. I've not had this bun before. This one has a sauce that I find really unique and no, I found it re really different unlike anything I've had from McDonald's before 
the sauce that is. This is somewhat similar to obviously the nacho burgers that they've had in the past. However, big fan of all of it together. So I'm going to rate it up slightly just for innovation. So I'm going to give it a very, 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 very low five stars. But I would say that uh, I'm a big fan, very satisfied with that. I would give it a four again. I think it's a very, very good burger. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit. I think almost, yeah, lack, lack the textures that, that the other ones did inside it. So actually, it was the burger I was looking forward to eating the most, but ended up maybe being the most bland of the three. Which is obviously quite contradictory given the sauce. <laughs> yeah, the, the sauce was very powerful and very strong. Less that when that was one of the one of few tastes, I I could get fed up a bit. Not fed up a bit, but I could tire of it pretty quickly, which is why I'd, I'd eat it again because it was a lovely burger. But, but would I choose to eat it regularly as much as I come to McDonald's? I'm there like a few times a week. Um, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be an order I'd make a habit of. Did you say you're there a few times a week? Yeah. Incredible saints. Um, what? No, I mean, that's... Well, is that not normal? Okay, yeah, is that I'm normal? there about, what, four or five times a week? I'm like, one there every few weeks. I don't go oh, the wow. weekend. I'm there one in four weeks. No, I'm there literally like... Uh, I mean, I was there Monday, I was there Sunday, I was there... Yeah, yeah. Good. Clear this, clear this sinuses, anyway. Nah, like, I go to McDonald's a lot. Um, and I have my favourite thing, I know what I, I know what I like, so I tend to order the same thing um, quite a lot. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily put that into my regulars. Nice burger though, I would recommend you try it. Yeah, pretty much echo all those feelings really. Um, it, it was nice, I can't, I can't say that I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, however, uh, yeah, it's just not something that rocks my world. How well? How well? I keep forgetting to say how well. On a one four. Correct. On a one four. Um, you yeah, know, know. It was nice. The, uh, the, the, the sauce was very different to what you normally get, especially compared to the barbecue and the ketchup mustard that we had earlier. Um, so it's nice to have that as a sort of a contrasting flavour. Um, but yeah, it just wouldn't. it's just not really something that I would ever order, but at the same time it's very tasty, so I probably would go like that. Yeah, like four. There you have it guys, that is the end. There you have it guys, that is the end of <laughs> our... Why'd you keep, looking... why, yeah, why'd you keep repeating things? Because, ah, oh, I'm professional. Isn't it? Because I was, I realised I was distracted by this. Um, but I'm just, oh yeah, okay, no. we have done this one. Yeah, you just, so that's fine. Do, as you are, do the outro. Ah, uh, inception. Awful. So that's the end of the three beef burgers. We're now going to head up, head on over to the. Actually, this this was the last of the Great Taste of America burgers because the other one is going to be uploaded before this. So thanks very much to McDonald's <laughs> for actually inviting us to headquarters and trying out the burgers exclusively before almost everyone else, apart from some people here before us. Uh, so yeah, that's awkward. But thanks again. We loved it. Subscribe to the comedy channel, Michael James Comedy, and of course, the life of Michael James in the vlog channel, because you know you know what I want. Far Goodbye. Can I lean over there and do it? Yeah. Yeah.